Hey guys, Launcher478 here, and we're back with another Pokemon Shield Wonderlock Nuzlocke. And today, we're going to be taking on the g the next gym, which is the Ice-type gym. So yeah, let's head over. I think this is the seventh gym. Yeah, it is, because we still have to take on Piers and um, Raihan, the Dragon-type gym leader. So let's head in here. So we have a Torkoal and a Hitmonchan. So this battle should be pretty easy considering that, you know, we have two Pokemon that are super effective and one can just completely negate ice types, which is Torkoal with the sun. So, oh, we need to talk to Ball Guy. What Pokeball will we get? The Moon Ball. Okay. So, let's head over, start the gym challenge, and hop right into this gym puzzle. That's probably not really... F I mean, it's okay. Like, the vibrations is okay, but the rest of the gym is eh. It's like, you know, hard to do and stuff. Because you have to navigate through, like, ice and sandstorm in Sword and Shield, and it's not really fun, but... We're going to do it anyway. So, looks like that guy is waiting for a battle. So we have the dowsing machine, right? I think that's what it's called. Trap detector, or the dowsing machine. They need to bring back the dowsing machine. Like from, I remember playing Pokemon X version, and then... Um, you know, like finding all these cool and rare items that I could use at the end of like if I was severely under leveled, then I could um just put on like a dragon fang, for example, like on guard uh, on dragon type and just completely steamroll it. So I think we go this way. No, we don't. Okay. We go over here, up here. Okay, I think we just go up, right? Yeah. And totally chill. Well, we're gonna melt that ice of yours. Oh yeah, it's a snom. Yeah, this thing is pretty much dead. Because this is four times a week to Torkoal. Flamethrower. It's gonna do... It's gonna one-shot it for sure. Yep. And snom goes down. Snom is honestly one of the best Pokemon, like, in this generation. He only had a one Snom. Okay. <laughs> he had one Snom. This is one Pokemon that he used. Oh. Nope. And we're getting sent back. So I think we go this way. No, we go around here. No? Okay. I haven't done these gym puzzles in a while, so I might be a little rusty. Cause like the last time I played them was in 2019 when the gym or when the games first came out. Honestly, not bad. I only got two wrong, and that's better than usual. <laughs> so don't go this way. We go up to the left. No, we don't. Go this way. Oh my. Sneak around, and boom, we made it. It's Torkoal. Yes, Torkoal's fine. Okay, time to take on the second one. Gym Challenger. I'll freeze you and your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. We have a Torkoal. You're not gonna do anything to my Pokemon. Oh. That might be a problem. If that has a water type move, then it could probably kill me. So let's swap out into Dragonair. So the Pokemon that are going to be completely useless in this fight are going to be my Dragonair and my Boldor. They aren't going to do anything because they're both weak to ice. 
and it just shell, shell smashed, so this is kind of scary. Don't sweep my team, please. Uh-oh, that's going to do a good chunk of damage. Oh, and my defense fell. Just kill it, please. It lived. Who can take this? Who can actually take this? We... If it goes for... Okay, here's the strategy. It's gonna go for another Razor Shell. And then we extreme speed kill it. Because, uh... My Dragonair resists... Dra er, razor Shell. Still did pretty good damage. And we extreme speed. Okay, that was kinda scary. Because the Clo when Cloyster sets up a, a Shell Smash, or any Pokemon that sh sets up a Shell Smash, and then starts to do massive damage to your Pokemon, is kind of scary, and you don't want to die. That was our only Pokemon. Okay, <laughs> if we had more, I think we would have lost the Pokemon. Uh, we go. I think we go over here. Oh, okay. We go right, I believe, and then forward. Do we go down? Yeah, we go down. Oh, we have to go down one more. So like this. He sees me, I think. I don't know. Oh, really? I took the one wrong path. The one that I was like, okay, I don't think this is going to be a bad patch, and it apparently is. So let's go over here and battle this guy. Hopefully he doesn't have a shell smashing cloister that'll, you know, kill us. He has a bear tick. Alright, this is fine. Bear tick is easy. It's gonna die in one hit to flamethrower. I've actually been having a lot of fun getting or playing with Torkoal. Uh oh. Okay, Torkoal's really bulky. Yeah, so I've been having a lot of fun using Torkoal because it's just so bulky and it hits pretty good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the ability Drought, which kind of sucks, but, you know, we we make do with what we have. And it took two flamethrowers. We're probably going to get a good amount of XP right here. Let's see, any level ups? Yeah, Rocky's going to level up. And Ryu. Oh, 44. Focus Punch? I think Drain Punch and Close Combat are better, so we're going to skip on that move. And do we go this way and then around? Ooh. Go over around. Oh my, we did it. Yay. Should probably heal up. Use some super potions to heal up. And we'll keep trucking. Boom. Team's all healed up. Now let's see. We missed like. I did three of them wrong. Uh, and on to the last one. My probably least favorite part about this gym. Oh, I'm probably going to mess up on this a lot. We have to go left. I know that. Oh, we found a patch. That means we just have to go up through here. Battle a trainer. Like, I remember the gym layouts, it's just that the fog is really annoying. Now we're against gym trainer Micah. He has an Avalug. This is also a very bulky Pokemon, so hopefully we can kill it. So <coughs> Let's go for the Flamethrower. How much will this do? Over half. Oh my god, it one-shot it. Most Avalugs, I guess, people are... That, that actually use this Pokemon. Try and uh, breed it a little bit bulkier. Because, yeah. The ones that I have faced have been bulky and toxic. Stuff like that. Uh, let's go down. Is that the right way? Yeah. Oh my god. Let's do this. Oh, dang it. It's so close. That guy's there, which means you have to go this way. 
where that's the place where I fell right here if we go oh that's vibrating really badly dang it I hate this gym puzzle so much oh really I'm probably gonna fall like 20 more times just to watch Do we go right? Nope. Do we go left and then up? Nope. Oh my, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Speed our way over here. Go up through here. Oh, I think I found the path. I just need to not mess up. If we go, yeah, we go left. There we go. Oh my. And I directly walk into that. Perfect. Up through here. Around here. And boom. We're done with the gym puzzle. <laughs> I missed like five on here. But, you know. The fog and everything. Or the snowstorm. Now let's heal up real quick. We're about to face Melanie. Which is pretty scary. Because she has a Lapras. And it's going to completely steamroll my... Torkoal, so thank god we have a Hitmonchan, because my team cannot deal with a G-Max Lapras at all. Gym mission cleared. On to the gym battle. Alright, let's walk over here. We're all healed up, right? Yes, we are. And boom. What is she gonna say? I am Melanie. As you can see, I've clearly assembled a team of ice type Pokemon. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You're ice type gym leader. Get ready to feel the fiery Torkoal and the punchy Hitmonchan. Gym leader Melanie sent out a frost moth. Oh, this is just Snom 2.0. It's going to get one shot by our flamethrower. And then we also have my Dynamax just in case we need it. Actually, I as soon as I said that, I immediately went for it. Alright, this should do nothing. Did more than I expected. Well, goodbye frost moth. You got one bug buzzing. What is her next Pokemon? Hopefully she doesn't send Lapras out. Darmanitan. Okay, this is part fire type. When it, like, gets its ability. Headbutt. Uh-oh. That's gonna be... A pre oh, it did nothing. Almost did nothing. The bug buzz did more. Oh, now it activated its Zen mode. Oh, we burn it. Does it have Zen mode? Yes, it does. But she can't do anything because it's she's burnt. Now let's just go for ancient power, knock it out. She went for taunt anyways, so we're fine. Ancient power! And that knocks out the Darmanitan. The Galarian Darmanitan, I should say. Her next Pokemon will be... A... Ice Q, or S, Ice Q? Yeah, it's Ice Q. I forgot about this Pokemon. I need to shiny hunt it. That's what I need to do. Hail. Uh oh. Oh boy. I just need to swap into Hitmonchan when she sends out her Lapras, so. I take its. Oh. Alright, I think I should swap into Hitmonchan now. Just to get the Dynamax off. So let's do that. We also have Fake Out, so. Hang in there, Ryu. What's it gonna go for? This ice keep Freeze Dry. I think we should be fine if, as long as it doesn't freeze me. Uh, let's go for Fake Out. Boom. And it has the ice face, of course. 
I don't really understand how ice face works. I need to look at it again. Let's go for the drain punch. Freeze dry again. Hopefully we don't lose Hitmonchan. We're in yellow health. Oh boy. Well, drain punch should get us some health back, which is good. I probably should have Dynamaxed, but it is what it is. Hopefully she doesn't sweep me with that Lapras. Buffered by the hail. And we're still in green by like one hit point. Oh, this Lapras is pretty scary. I could go for max guard if I had it. Which one is stronger? Looks like this max knuckle is. And I am faster, so this will do pretty good damage, hopefully. But it's going to go for G-Max Resonance, which is probably going to do big damage, unless it goes for Max Geyser. Dynamaxed Hitmonchan. She's going to G-Max her Lapras. Come now, go on, let your everything freeze solid and stuff. So now she's going to use her Gigantamax Lapras and... This thing is what I was terrified the whole video, so. Okay, we are faster, so how much is this going to do? We're two levels higher, it's super effective, can we kill it in one hit? It's going to take two hits, but hopefully it doesn't kill me, because that would suck. And we would probably lose the battle. Sub-Zero World. Oh boy, here we go. G Max Resonance. Don't kill my Hitmonchan just yet. Oh, we're living. On in red health. But oh wait, it has the Aurora Veil, so I don't know. Maybe we can't live it. Let's heal up just to be safe. Go for a hyper potion. Cause it's like the strongest potion we have right now. Use the hyper potion. How much health will this bring us at? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Another G-Max Resonance. Yeah, we're fine. We can take another one if it doesn't get a critical, and we should knock it out. Max Knuckle. And just like that. Oh, what? I guess it did get bulky because the, Aur the Aurora Veil comes out. Max Geyser. Uh-oh. Alright, we're fine. Lapras is slower than us. So. We go for Drain Punch. Knock it out. So, I think we win the battle. Unless it has Aqua Jet. Then I'm... Nope, we're fine. I was worrying for nothing. We take the gym badge. Let's go. That Lapras put up a good fight. I probably could have killed it, but I potioned and said better safe than sorry because it could have outsped us, I think. Probably not, but once learn Sandstorm. Nah, you don't need Sandstorm right now. And everybody gets some XP. You defeated Gym Leader Melody. Okay. We should get the seventh gym badge. Or the sixth, actually. And then next episode, we'll be battling Hop and making our way to the next city, which is the one where with uh, Piers and the Dark Type Gym, which Hitmonchan is also good for. We also get some encounters in that area. Get Icy Wind. I don't think that'll be useful right now. So. Got the Ice Uniform too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see some more Pokemon Shield content. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye